Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Velify here, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So before we get into this update of a teacher that did a very bad thing with an elementary student, uh, like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel at Third Railify on YouTube, Twitter, and Rumble, but most importantly, Rumble. If you haven't downloaded the app, you should give that a try. It's actually pretty great nowadays. So, a while ago, in May, beginning of May, I covered a story about a, a teacher, a woman named Madison Bergman. And uh, she, uh, she was getting frisky, we'll say. She was hopping in on the good foot and doing the bad thing with an elementary school student. And it, it, that uh, story sort of uh, it made a lot of waves. This is that story right here from May. Teacher Madison Bergman, who was set to be married in two months, is arrested for sexually assaulting and making out with an elementary school student. So, again, this story came out in May. She was actually due to be married in July, the, the July that just passed. A soon-to-be-married Wisconsin elementary teacher was arrested after her alleged sexual assault of a child that included making out with an elementary school student. So this um, this was in May. The reason why we are going through this is because there is an update, and we're going to get to that in just one second, so do stay with me. The next story of that is a uh, teacher arrested for making out with an 11-year-old boy, moved his desk closer so she could rub his legs in class. So one of the things that she did was she actually positioned his desk so she could like fondle him and rub up on him and do all kinds of sexy things during class with all the other students there. And everyone thought it was weird while he was why this student's desk was positioned the way that this student was. This 11 year old student who was sexually assaulting an 11 year old. The other students thought. He was in trouble. They looked down on him and thought he was the bad kid because, you know, the teacher had to move his desk beside hers to, to keep an eye. But it's really so she could play footsies with him and, and you know, that kind of stuff. The next update, and these updates came in pretty rapid succession, uh, was that her fiancé dumped her. And often when I cover these videos, I usually attempt to make a point about about the husbands because like you know s these guys are getting cheated on their their wives or girlfriends are they're going to jail they're being arrested they're being dragged through the the media idiots like me make videos about them and so they're uh i think it's a point to talk about their heartache usually it's sort of left out. They're an afterthought, often not even brought up at all. But the story was actually about the boyfriend. He dumped her. He kicked her ass to the curb. I was like, I was like, thank goodness for that. So the teacher was set to wed her partner, Sam Hickman, in July. Again, that's just passed. But the plans have been scrapped due to what Hickman has described as fucked up behavior. By his betrothed. It's indefinitely postponed, the friend of the couple told the New York Post. And it probably won't happen. Sam is really upset and heartbroken. He's embarrassed and pissed. He didn't deserve this. Everyone is pissed. I mean, that's that's fair. I mean, I hope it's I hope it's um like indefinitely like forever, not just postponed, but like off. He goes on to say, it was more like, well, obviously it's not going to happen this summer. Pretty much that's all there is to say. He says it's fucked up and that she cheated with a little kid, the friend told the Post. He's like really, really hurt, not talking too much about it. Just like, this is fucked up. He's still in shock. Not only did she cheat on him, but she cheated with a little kid. And that's sort of where we left that. Now, if you're still with me here, there's a brand new update that I didn't, uh, I didn't think that, that we would have. So 
Madison Bergman, teacher busted for making out with an 11 year old, wants the okay to be around kids again. One of one of her 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 things, her 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 like bail conditions was you can't be around children because you kind of have this um, penchant for uh, touching them inappropriately. And she's decided, well, you know, maybe that doesn't need to be a bail condition. And maybe I don't actually need to be in trouble. Maybe I can just, I don't know, not do those things, not be those things in trouble and have bail. So Madison Bergman, the Wisconsin teacher, busted for allegedly making out with an 11-year-old in her classroom is asking a judge if it's okay to be around kids again. Uh, okay, the audacity, first and, and foremost, the audacity. It, it takes more audacity to do that than it does to, to, to often wear a leopard print blanket when you're making a video for the world to see. It gets cold in here, okay? You guys don't understand. An attorney for the 24-year-old former teacher who blew up her impending wedding when she was charged with a first-degree sexual child assault on May 2nd, filed the request to clarify the conditions of her bond. Currently, she's barred from being in any place where children are present. So, I would suspect that means, hey, don't go to a playground or a daycare or a school. Don't go to, uh, I don't know. Don't go to the toy store. I mean, if you have to go to a toy store, maybe be supervised so you at least have a leg to stand on. That kind of thing, right? Don't cavort with your victim. In a motion filed in the late July, her attorney said she wants to know whether she can visit restaurants and shop at stores where there could be children. Well, as I sort of just pointed out, it's, it's, um, uh, the idea will be she shouldn't go where children 100% are. You know what I mean? Like a a uh, like a, an elementary school, for example, where she sexually assaulted a child. She kids are supposed to be there, so she obviously can't go there. That's a child centric focused place. A restaurant. I mean, there there could be kids, maybe not kids. I think it's probably fine. Just maybe go with somebody so you have, uh, I don't know, a witness, a chaperone, or whatever. Bergman has also filed a motion to dismiss the criminal complaint. Just dismiss it outright. Just gone. Accountability? N no, not at all. None. Zip. Zero. And that request is not sitting well with her former colleagues at Rivercrest Elementary School in Hudson, Wisconsin which is in the far west of the state, near Minneapolis. It's ridiculous, growls an elementary teacher. She has left a wake of destruction at the school, and she thinks she shouldn't face the consequences for that. The teacher told the Post that Bergman's firing set off a chain reaction around the school. Another fifth grade teacher also resigned at the following school board meeting. Apparently, this resignation was a little suspicious. School board members said that the, that teacher may have known about Bergman's behavior, but did not report it. That educator has not been charged with any crimes. So maybe she knew about the uh, child rape, but, you know, was like, well, you know, to each their own. What's that expression about, you know, all it takes for evil to succeed is for good men and or women to do nothing? Well, that would be this teacher that resigned, just allowed stuff to happen and didn't say anything. It's been a weird summer. And not just for them at Rivercrest Elementary School. I think for everyone, it's just been a weird summer. Anyways, it's been a weird summer, says Bergman's former colleague. We are all answering uh, parents' questions when it comes to kids. Everyone is so protective and rightly so. But when two fifth grade teachers get fired as part of a sex scandal, you have no idea how crazy things can get. Maybe that teacher that resigned, maybe it was like a forced resignation where everybody really knows it's a firing, but you're saying it's a resignation to sort of save some face. Maybe that's what it was. 
Anyways, according to the criminal complaint, Bergman's alleged abuse of the 11-year-old boy came to light when the student's mother overheard her son talking to the teacher on the phone. Suspicious, the parents checked the boy's phone and allegedly found salacious texts between the pair. The deranged text chain allegedly included messages from Bergman allegedly discussing multiple encounters inside the classroom during lunch or after school. She allegedly told the child how much she enjoyed touching or him touching her and making out. We don't even know what making out is code for. Some of the alleged assaults even happened in Bergman's fifth grade classroom, according to the complaint. And the boy's father then stormed into Rivercrest Elementary School with printouts of the conversations, authorities said. That was a dramatic day, the Rivercrest teacher told the Post. He was not calm about it, and he was not quiet. <laughs> and good, good for that. I'm glad he went in there and raised hell. I mean, I expect every one of you would do the same. I know I would. After Bergman was arrested, she was released on $25,000 signature bond. She is living in seclusion on her grandparents' farm, family sources said. The school district vows to seek whatever justice is necessary in this case. The district continues to work with law enforcement on this situation. Hudson School Superintendent Nick Alouette said in uh, a May school board meeting, we are conducting our own investigation to determine what other actions should have been taken. I mean, you can't, you can't really stop it, can you? I've made, I don't know how many videos of this I've made. And I have two more on deck. There's two more coming after this. You can't stop it. Can't stop, won't stop. You know what I mean? You're, it, I don't know what there is to be done. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why a, a woman who has a fiancé in a career and, you know, has a life, has the American dream or whatever, looks at, at a little boy. This guy, kid's 11. I mean, I can, I can maybe understand why a young teacher looks at a 17-year-old, maybe he's a muscular 17-year-old, maybe he's got swagger and uses a lot of gel in his hair or something. I don't know, but, but you know, you're like, okay, you're, you're 17, it's still illegal, it's still wrong. I mean, it, it's wrong enough to get Dr. Disrespect nuked off of everywhere. Like, it's wrong, but I, there's, there's a little more understanding in, in that, then, you know, an 11-year-old, where you're like, oh, an 11-year-old's a baby lamb. You're just a kid. Doesn't make any sense to me. So Bergman, as we've uh, discussed, was supposed to get married in July, but the nuptials never happened. At the same time, a friend told the Post that uh, the groom was blindsided. The rest is just the groom talking about how, how messed up it was and, and all of that. That is the Madison Bergman update. She wants uh, no accountability. She wants charges dropped, and she wants to be around kids again. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on, on the matter. And um, like, subscribe, share at Third Railify on YouTube, on Twitter, and most importantly, on Rumble. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.